A feedback network is usually made up of passive component resistors, capacitors, and inductors. And mostly, we are going to use only resistors in amplifiers. For amplifiers, we are going to use only resistors in the feedback network. So, these resistors, you know, it will reduce the amount of current. So, it will have some voltage or power loss. So, whatever output coming out of the feedback network is going to be reduced portion of the input only. Okay, because I'm going to have the resistance and other passive components in my feedback network and predominantly for amplifiers, I'm going to use only resistances. So whatever output of the feedback network and so whatever output of the feedback network we are going to get, it is going to be reduced portion of the input. So input is going to be V0, output is going to be Vf. So I can define the feedback factor beta is equal to Vf by V0. And since beta is called as a feedback factor, the value will always lie between 0 and 1. Because maximum value, you can pass your V0 directly into your input, that is 1. Or I may completely block the value of V0. So beta will lie between 0 and that's why it is called as feedback factor or feedback ratio or feedback fraction. Okay. So this uh, we are three networks we are going to have in our uh, amplifier. One is uh, mixing of uh, sampling network we have seen. Now we have seen what is feedback network. Okay, and the last one is mixer 